loading. Hi, this is Ruby of Ruby K's. Oh my gosh, this year has started out with a bang. Um, we have had so much stuff going on that I haven't been able to get back on the live. So um, welcome, RuthyKays.com. And we started out with our first video of this year talking about weddings or for the holidays because it was before Christmas and um, what we need for weddings. So be sure you start with that one and check it out because we're going to give hints as we go along. And congratulations to anyone got married over Christmas and New Year's. We're very excited for you. We sent out a checklist on our, our website and on um, our Facebook page about a checklist for what you need when for your weddings and we wanted to help you with that but we did notice that there aren't any out there that really talk about alterations so we're going to give you hints on when to go for alterations for your dress for your bridesmaids dresses for your grooms and groomsmen's outfits so we're going to start with wedding dresses we already told you in the first one buy the dress you like buy the dress that fits the best so that you have the least alterations and we're going to add to that buy the dress to fit the biggest part of you. Taking something in is a lot easier than taking something out. So many of us women, we're pretty busty and it can cause us problems when the rest of us don't match our bust. So you want to match your bust. If you're really hippie, you need to match your hips and then it will bring everything else in. So that's the first one for today. And the second one is Congratulations on buying your dress whenever you get it. If you've got your dress, congratulations. Now you need to start thinking about alterations. And you need to do it now because with COVID, we have a lot stricter guidelines on when we can see people as in how many people at a time. Here I'm talking time frames. And at Ruthie K's, we make uh, hour-long appointments for wedding dresses so that we can get you in and get you out and nobody's gonna come in the same time you are. That's our goal anyway. And with that, we want to see you six to eight weeks before your wedding. But to get be sure you get in an appointment at that time, be sure and call us pretty close to after you bought your dress. You can even call us a year in advance, nine months in advance, to make sure we have a spot for you. At Ruthie K's, we do not recommend fitting your dress early on unless you're one of those rare people that your weight never changes no matter what. Because the thing is, you need to try your dress on six to eight weeks before your wedding if you have it altered, and you may have to have it re-altered, and that will cost you more money. So just be aware of that. I know sometimes that you can think, oh, it'll be much more comfortable, I'll have it all out of the way. If you change sizes, you may feel a little panicked. So we want you to make your dress appointment soon after you get your dress. And then you can call us in the meantime if you have questions on like, can you now fix my veil? Will this lace work? You can send us a picture on text. We're totally okay with that. And that's how we, we like to work with our brides. Now, not everybody may be able to do that. And they may suggest whatever time works for their shop. But if you have your dress, then call your seamstress, get an appointment for six to eight weeks before your wedding so that it's all ready. Because our goal is always to have it ready for you and on you fitted two weeks before your wedding so that you don't have to worry. Well, those are your tips for now. Again, congratulations to all of you that got engaged and happy Valentine's Day coming up really quick here and Ruthie Case.